I'm Dr. Joe Ellis of Benton, Kentucky. As a longtime state association leader, a member of the AOA board since 2001 and the AOA president in 2011, I have lived and breathed optometric advocacy, state, federal, and third party during a time of great challenge and great advancement for our profession. In fact, the growth and expansion of my practice and the range of care, including medical eye care, that I provide comes directly from the wins achieved from my state association and the AOA. Similarly, my patients' access to me comes from the relentless outreach and the activism that our profession's leaders first committed to 40 years ago and that we follow through on every day since that time. Just think about optometry back in the 70s and 80s. Would we even for a moment allow another group to take back all or even part of what we've gained through advocacy? That's why today I want to tell you about a serious new threat that's emerged to our practices and our most hard-won gains and to ask you for your help in fighting back. Using our profession's good name and even our political capital, Vision Plans have launched an organized nationwide lobbying effort aimed at seizing control over optometry's future and undermining the standing that we've achieved over the last 40 years. To avoid changing how they view us or how they do business, but more importantly in pursuit of greater profits for themselves, they're willing to risk our scope and patient access gains, and even worse, allow decades-old constraints on how we practice to be reimposed. Right now, lobbyists for vision plans are urging your senators, congressmen, and state legislators to turn back the clock on four decades of optometry's progress. This is to separate us from the mainstream of healthcare, to create new barriers to OD providing medical eye care and to remake my practice and yours with our very limited vision services only model as the centerpiece. Very simply, vision plans think they, not us, are optometry. It's outrageous to take this stance and we need to demand that it stops immediately. First, let me give you some straight talk about the new health care law that the AOA and the state associations made certain fully recognizes optometry. Vision plans claim they've been left out of state exchanges. It's simply not true. The law is very clear in allowing vision plans to participate in all state insurance exchanges by partnering with health plans. Under the approach that the AOA has backed every single one of the millions of children to gain health insurance mandating full eye health coverage in 2014 will have optometric care integrated into their health coverage. Why would we want anything less than this? Also, vision plans claim patient access will be disrupted. Again, this is simply not true. The new health care law is aimed at extending coverage to tens of millions of uninsured Americans. Thanks to our proactive advocacy efforts, there is no provision anywhere in the law that seeks to limit or eliminate anyone's vision coverage. In fact, it expands the coverage and patient access to optometric care by designating our services as essential. The law recognizes how our profession has advanced and tells health care plans, even ERISA plans, that you can't discriminate against us any longer. Let me tell you this. If any vision plan executive will say, what's our plan? They have not been with us over the last 40 years or even over the last four months in fighting for patient access and scope gains. Very obviously, they and their companies are not with us today in making sure that only optometrists define optometry. Let's not give up on four decades of progress because vision plans executives want to cling to their outdated business model and outdated view of us no matter what. Let's not be bullied or fooled in allowing others to speak for us. 
The AOA and the State Association are optometry's voice, period. To keep it that way, we must defend optometry now, and you need to start by contacting the AOA Washington office, our patient access nerve center, and joining the full scope optometry defense team. Join me in safeguarding our hard won right to determine how we build and how we run our practices today, and more importantly, how we run our practices in the future.